What's up friends? Welcome back to another video or welcome if you're new here. My name is Alex, my pronouns are he, him, and this is my channel Pucks and Paperbacks where I recommend queer books, I turn YouTube trends bookish, and I just love to do bookish challenges. And today I have a library haul. So I'm going to be drinking my coffee while I share my Indigathon TBR which relates to the library haul because they're the books that I got from the library. If you enjoy this give it a thumbs up and let's get started. Starting with my Indigathon TBR, if you haven't heard of Indigathon I will have links down below to the host's announcement videos. This is a month-long readathon hosted in November by Bear and Michelle. Indigathon is hosted throughout the whole month of November for Native American Heritage Month and they came up with challenges. So the objective of the readathon is to read Indigenous literature. First up on my Indigathon TBR is for the Challenge Poetry Collection and I'm going to be reading It Was Never Going to Be Okay by Jay Simpson and I have this available to me on Hoopla. They are Two-Spirit OG Cree. I read poetry every Indigathon and I'm excited. I haven't read a lot of poetry this year I think the last time was Nature Poem by Tommy Pico which is another Indigenous poetry collection so I'm excited to read this one. Now on to my library books. I have the group book Apple in the Middle by Dawn E. Quigley. I had to switch angles because the lighting in my room does not want to cooperate this morning but the next book is A Host Wreck. It's Michelle's favorite book and it also completes the challenge to read a book about Indigenous joy. And this is Ancestor Approved. It is an anthology edited by Cynthia Lettick Smith. And I started this at the beginning of the year. I got it out from my library and I had to return it so I wasn't able to finish it. So I will finish it for Indigathon. It is a middle grade anthology about a bunch of Native families going to a powwow and it is wholesome and nice and I'm excited to read the rest of it. And this also turns into a book haul because a nonfiction book that I really want to get to. I already ordered but I have not gotten a shipping confirmation yet which is totally fine. I hope it comes by the end of the month so I can read it for Indigathon but if not I'll just read it in December. But I talked about this in my fall TBR I believe. This is Call Me Indian by Fred Sasakamus. I really want to read this because it is about hockey. He was the first Canadian Indigenous player into the NHL. So Oh, I actually ordered it from an Indigenous owned bookstore. It is Birch Bark Books which is owned by Louise Erdrich who is actually a very well-known Indigenous author. So I am just patiently waiting for it to come in the mail and I hope that it comes in time for Indigathon. And if not I'll just read it next month because I want to read it so bad. <laughs> next is one of my favorite prompts, Land Acknowledgement. I am living on Lenape land and I tried to get a picture book out from the library but I went to pick up my holds and it wasn't there so I don't know what happened with that. So I'm going to try and get that by the end of the month. If I can't I'll just do my own research, watch a documentary. So that was my Indigathon TBR. If you're participating let me know what books you're looking forward to reading. I really hope I get to read Fred Sasakamusa's book by the end of the month. I am just so excited to read it. And now here are the rest of the library books that I picked up. So for the rest of my library haul I picked up the hex which is for a video so I'm excited to read this. My friend Chloe from Brunette Bibliophile had the best pitch for this. She said it is hocus pocus but they fuck. That is the funniest pitch I've ever heard and that just makes me want to read it more. So then I had to pick up Blackout which is an anthology by um, Danielle Clayton, Tiffany D. Jackson, Nick Stone, Angie Thomas, Ashley Woodfolk, my favorite author, and Nicola Yoon. So I'm very excited to pick this one up. I was glad my library had it. Sometimes I just go into the library and I feel like it's a black hole because I was like okay I'm just going to pick up my holds for Indigathon, nothing else. And then well and I had to pick this up because I had it on hold. Um, I was on like a wait list for it. But then I also picked up two other books. I picked up Today, Tonight, Tomorrow by Rachel Lynn Solomon because I think it'll be good for book research. 
Um, and I picked up Furia by um, Yamil Saeed Mendez because I started it last month in October for Latinx Heritage Month. I just didn't finish it and so I'm like well maybe if I have the physical copy then I will but we'll see what happens. <laughs> And uh, that's it. Those are all the books I got from the library and now I'll just show you the one book that I did get sent to me and then I have a couple pre-orders that I would like to just share. If you saw my end of the year book tag I already mentioned these but I pre-ordered House Fires by Connor Franta which I will be reading for a vlog and I had to pre-order Nina Marino's sophomore novel one way back to always. It is such a gorgeous cover and I'm so excited. I don't even know what it's about. Oh, I love this. So it is about two friends, Lou and Sam, who have kind of grown apart and Lou finds a bucket list that they wrote and she realizes that they didn't finish it and so I believe that that is how they both rekindle their friendship. Nina Marino is a great YA contemporary writer. I love Don't Date Rosa Santos. It's one of my favorites and so I'm excited to read this one. And last I have a trans children's book that I ordered and I already unboxed it in my Instagram followers control my weekend video so that'll be up here if you want to watch it. Um, but this is I Am a Prince by Damien A. Lopez and it is a trans owned voices children's book and I'm reading this off their Instagram but November is transgender awareness month and for the entire month of November 100% of proceeds for purchases of I am a prince book through our website will be donated to trans slash non-binary identified person to assist with their gender affirming process. So I'll have the link down below if you want to help out with that. And now I have the last book that was sent to me by Soft Skull Press. And this is actually a really cool one. Um, it is called Pilot Imposter and it's a poetry collection kind of thing. I love it. It's so cool. So thank you so much to them for sending me this. I'll insert some b-roll of this because it's so cool. It is about leadership um, or like failures of leadership basically. So thank you to Soft Skull Press for sending me this. The art is so cool and I'm excited to read it. If you would like to purchase it or just look at the book, add it to your TBR, I'll have a link down below. So that is it for my Indigathon TBR library haul and book haul. Thank you for watching. Thank you for supporting. I have a Patreon if you'd like to support me further. Feel free to hit subscribe if you haven't and I will see you in the next video very soon. Bye.